1978 Pi CT450, better known as the Philips G11, as by this time Pi was owned by Philips and was probably more of a brand name. This is exactly the same TV my parents had when I was a kid. I've anticipated a few stock faults, such as the bad deflection chip sockets, replacing the HT smoothing capacitor. Luckily it wasn't a red one, but um, I still didn't quite trust it. And generally sorting out some dry joints. So um, yeah, let's get some power in this and see what happens. I heard something. Somebody bypass the power on this or something's buzzing. I don't hear anything. Ooh, ooh, there we are. We have vertical collapse. There we are. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Is that chip completely dead, I wonder? Hmm, I think you've got different colours going on here, but... Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's bypassed the switch. <laughs> that was uh, fun, but yeah, okay. Fair enough. Well, we know what we got. Tube's glowing, I can see that. Power alarm's going off as well. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's colour. Yeah. Well, this turned out to be a bit of a head scratcher. I followed the stock fault guides, and there just seems to be zero power getting to the deflection chip and any other associated low voltage parts. Now, I posted this in the VRAT forum, which is highly recommended, by the way, as there's a wealth of information here, not just servicing guides, but people who actually work in the industry. And VRAT user Cathovisor mentioned diode D3138 rectifies the LT3 and LT4, basically the low voltage parts here. And bingo, yeah, this red diode was completely open which seems quite unusual. These seem more prone to fo falling, to uh, try again, failing short rather than open circuit. But then again, none of the stock folds seem to have applied to this TV so far. So who knows really? Oh well, onwards and upwards. So I've replaced this here. Ah, thank you, Focus. Yes, yeah, so I've replaced this diode, um, the red diode, with this one here. And I've put it on the other side so at least I can monitor the uh, heat, just in case it starts to overheat. But I don't think it will, because this is a modern one, and it should be a lot, uh, lot better than the original. So we shall try. So these green cylindrical capacitors need to go because they're quite famous for failing, causing the HT in the TV to go sky high. So let's get rid of them with some polypropylene capacitors, nice modern ones there. That should sort this out. Okay, so <laughs> we're looking at mirror cam here. So I might flip this around in editing, I don't know. But let's see. Right, so we're gonna let's get some power in now and see what happens. Ah, right. Ah, no. Hang on. What's going on here? What's going on with the colour here? Let's have a look. Hmm. Yeah. We well, don't appear to have any red. That's a problem. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. 
Mm. Yeah, we've got no, we have no red whatsoever. Hmm. So, after an incredible amount of searching, um, I've, you can probably see, you can buy all the uh, stuff on here, I've re I replaced, I took these out, tested them, they were all fine, but I thought, you know what, whilst I've got them out, I'll, I'll replace them anyway. I've checked everything, everything in the path of this TCA800Q colour decoder. And it turned out the uh, red channel on this colour decoder itself was actually faulty. I don't know how that happened. I don't know if that was something uh, that was caused by um, something failing, one of the um, one of the diodes uh, failing. Um, who knows? But yeah, I've been right through this, the red channel. Um, and yeah, it just, for some reason, but as you can see, I've got a, that's a brand, well, I don't know if it's brand new, new old stock one in there now um so yeah hopefully that should sort everything out hmm. all right so let's try this now okay all right okay power going on right power on so, Ooh. Oh, hello, what's happened here? Oh, yes, hang on, let's have a... Oh, I better turn that down actually, just in case I get a copyright <sighs> hit from um, YouTube there. But yeah, there we go, I think. That is a very, very nice picture actually. Hang on, let's just... See if we can just... Yeah. I think that's a very, very good picture. I think it's time to go and uh, watch some TV. Maybe lizard skin on my legs. I freaked out. I didn't know what to do. I went on a quest to find something to fix this and found Crave Erase. Crave <laughs> Erase. Now let's be clear. This is debuting world mm -hmm. launch here at the Q. This is an almost $120 collection. It's a two piece step. It is a body treatment. And for pretty much the chest down, this is the treatment for that crepey skin mm -hmm. in both an exfoliator and then the repair treatment lotion. Now, before we even get into what all this does, my friend, mm -hmm. can we please show these before and afters? Because they are so famous and they're only just seeing the light of day now on air. But I've been hearing about them for seven Oof. hours from my colleagues. Who that's were enough, I ready. think. See, that's, that is far, far better than Creeper Race. Oh, man, the camera really does not show you uh, how good these are. I mean, the greens. Oh, ooh, ooh, hello. Yeah, the greens, the reds, obviously, because we've now got that. There's a whole sort of magenta colour um, that this TV does, which I've never seen. Even a Trinitron or Trinitran has never um, has never seen before. But uh, yeah, I think uh, I think that's a working TV.